look at this view that you get from this property here absolutely beautiful all right so we're at the second property in norbrook and we're about to check out this house it is a five bedroom four and a half bath home that sits on 1.42 acres of land and it has a square footage of 5500 square feet and it is going for an asking price of 1,650,000 USD you know light work so we're about to just do a brief walkthrough of the exterior of the property so we come down this side and you have a yard that is easily maintained just because of how the flora and fauna is situated there is a pre-built kennel down there in case you want to have dogs i see a really nice rottweiler down there i hope he doesn't break out of that cage not rottweiler german shepherd a really nice german shepherd is down there you can come down here in the evenings if you like and just look out all of this land space down here belongs to you i am imagining because there is a access gate that leads you down so i would imagine that that land also belongs to you as well so walking down on the bottommost floor or the groundest level i'm just using words right here so let me put them in quotations and you can see what's going on from down this side and then when we head on back upstairs we will check out some more of what's going on so yeah so we're going to head back upstairs i'm trying to elude some pretty big um poop that i'm seeing on the floor <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna head back upstairs and then I'll check back in with you guys, alright? Out! So we're stepping on the inside and it opens up into this beautiful courtyard. But before we go that side, you have a powder room that's right here. And guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, alright? So off the powder, open up into this beautiful open concept courtyard. And this is an older home. It is actually built into the hillside. So no hills were destroyed in developing this home. And an architect actually designed this space. Down right here is actually a koi pond. And there are beautiful koi on the inside, swimming around, having a good time, just enjoying themselves. So this is actually the living area right here. And let me show you. You literally can see a 180 view of Kingston. Yes, so as I was saying, this is your living area. Very nice, open concept. As I said, it just needs a bit of um, renovating there are a lot of nice artworks here like this one this is actually your dining area you can come through one actually your dining area so this is what the house actually looks like Boom. that nice courtyard and then all the details are here that I was telling you from before. You can pause and look at that. So we step into the kitchen area. That's it. And then you have the helper's quarters. That's downstairs here. And then you have this nice window. Big up this other base team that's here. They're always welcoming to me. So I must show them some appreciation for that 
Yeah, um, before we check out the bedroom, I guess we'll save those for last and we'll jet over to this beautiful area over here. So this in particular is the man cave that's down here. The den, you have some nice cricket artwork that's here that's leading down so you don't know the whole owner of this home was indeed a cricket fan. And then you must be wondering, based on how open concept this space feels, the grills and gates that are securing this particular property are strategically designed to keep intruders out. So this is a full pool. This house was built before pool restrictions were made. So this is a very large pool that you have right here, separate and apart from those pools that you see in a modern home. Now, now look at this view that you get from this property here. Absolutely beautiful. You get the full 180 view of Kingston from here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you can see the Kingston Harbour is right there. Mona Dam is right there. You can see downtown. You can see New Kingston right there. Downtown over there. Red Hills over here. And we can take it to the snack station. You always want to come out to Sotheby's open houses. They always have really nice snacks. I'll be sure to grab a few of these before I leave. <laughs> and then there is a nice little green area right here that I didn't highlight before. And then as you can see, there is lighting um, available to be turned on in the evening. But this is just a nice house design overall so let's check out the rooms and then wrap this video up and then what i didn't showcase you have some really nice lighting design right here and then even on the walls right here really nice design and you have some statues or some art pieces that are here are beautifully blended into this open concept courtyard as well all right so let's head on to the bedrooms so all of your entertainment and dining and eating happens over there and then all of the resting happens over here so as you can see you have nice antique artwork have stone paths marble walls beautiful design house so stepping on the inside right here have a nice seating area here and there goes our other friend from barita madame coach bag bathroom and then you step on inside here bedroom and this is a nice air right here you're fine so this is the primary bedroom and it is a loft style right overhangs this area right here beautiful and then as you step on on the outside you get the view of Kingston from here and then when you look down 
you're looking directly into the koi pond and that's just a beautiful touch to me so we're going to check out the next set of rooms on the other side to our right because we went left first so let's jump to that all right so we have one more bedroom that's right here and then another one over there you have access here to get down to the pool area yeah i feel like i want to close this video off looking into the pond so yeah that's pretty much it for this particular property let me know what you guys think about it down below and i'll leave gail young's number right here so you can contact her if you'd like to view or make a purchase and don't forget that the goal is to live life on your own terms and that is what i'm trying to do by becoming a full-time youtuber by the end of 2022 and you guys can help me to do that all you have to do is to hit that like button right now hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on and i would greatly appreciate that but enough of the chattings a b signing out all right so i didn't realize i could actually drive down there so we're about to drive down see what time it is for this particular property Pretty nice, pretty nice. I'll just put my vehicle right here.